Muckluck here, and I make concise game reviews that help you decide if you want to buy something without spoiling the game for you. This is 3D RimWorld. Stranded, a land dawn. A base building survival colony sim. It is available on PC, PS5, PS4, and Xbox, and is rated T for teen. In full disclosure, I received my game copy for free after doing a two hour sponsored stream for them, but I think my game was laced with something because 200 hours later, I still can't put it down. The goal of this review is to determine whether or not this game is worth its $35 price tag for you. Game setting. Stranded currently has three scenarios to choose from. The original, where a team of people crash onto a planet and the objective is to get off alive. You do this by grabbing any resources you can, managing equipment, buildings, food, medicine, and teching your way up until you can operate a radio dish and call for help to other spaceships. In the second scenario, you come to the planet intentionally in order to make a trading outpost and build a trade empire while trading goods you procure on the planet with vessels passing by, hire workers, counterfeit money if you wish, and eventually buy your own planet. In the third scenario, you come to an absolutely infested planet in order to make a military outpost with the goal of teching up to a large relay to connect this outpost to a network of other planets already controlled by mankind. The local wildlife is really not happy about your presence here. Huh, that last plot line reminds me of something. The general gameplay is that of a colony simulator. You choose the people you want to bring with you with the chances of finding more survivors during your game. Assign them each to tasks, such as one person impersonating Bob the Builder as their top priority, while another person prioritizes cooking. <laughs> yeah, boy. They will handle tasks in the priority order you give them, but you can give them manual orders at any time. Tackle the many problems that survival entails, having warm clothes for the winter, a place to sleep indoors out of bad weather, defenses for incoming attacks, medicine for sickness, keeping your people same, which is easy with Ken because he likes violence, etc. Until you can eventually tech up to and complete the winning condition. Or don't. If you simply don't do the winning condition, you could play and build for as long as you want. One of my first playthroughs ended when my people ate raw monster meat when I wasn't looking and they all got sick from it and I couldn't figure out how to make medicine in time. Rest in peace, Maki. Oh, wait, you can cook the meat from dead people? I guess I don't have a food problem anymore. I've done multiple playthroughs of Stranded so far and on average each one lasted 15 to 20 hours when I was just going for the victory condition. Due to there being so many different game seeds, each run felt different than the one before it, offering a lot of replayability. Sometimes I find cotton easily, so clothes are abundant, but I struggle to find medicine. Other times it's the exact opposite. Even if you just did each scenario one time on each of the two planet options, that would be 60 to 80 hours of gameplay. Comparisons to other games. The one I hear most often while streaming is, wow, this looks like 3D RimWorld. But it also has similarities to other colony sims I've played, such as Oxygen Not Included. The details. The graphics. Graphics in this game shoot for 3D realism, but what I really love in this department is how detailed everything is. People soldering items at benches, stacking the items you've stockpiled so far on shelves, operating machinery. It all looks great. Sound and music. The sound design of all the items, weapons, and equipment is great, but what really jumps out at me in this department is the twang of the country music combined with high-tech sci-fi universe, and it really picks up whenever an attack is coming. There's no time! There's no time! The banjo twang is started! <laughs> Controls. The game can be played with mouse and keyboard or controller. I've played 200 hours with mouse and keyboard and I have no complaints here. Most of the gameplay is done with the mouse, while the keyboard controls the camera and a few other things. Saving system. The game auto saves your progress periodically, but you can make manual saves and quick saves anytime you wish. The quick saves only require pressing F5 and take a few seconds, without breaking the flow of the game at all. Content creator concerns. None. I streamed my entire playthrough, many playthroughs, on Twitch and uploaded the entire thing to our Mucklet Plays YouTube channel and did not experience any muted VODs or have any issues with copyright claims. Anything negative to say? No, quite the opposite. In fact, one thing about this game that really stands out is how incredibly complete it has felt every step of the way. When I first played it in early access, it felt like a finished bug-free game. Then they added the Tame and Train update, allowing you to tame animals for wild stock or combat. Then they added the Desert World, then Moons, then the Trading Scenario, then the Military Scenario when the game released. Each step of the way, I was thinking, surely this is it, this is the game. No. Oh, there's more! At this point, I award this game as having the best, most solid early access I have ever taken part in. Final thoughts. I was originally sponsored on Twitch to play two hours of this game and enjoyed it so much I played it regularly throughout its various content updates over the last six months. And now the game is in its full release 1.0 state and out of early access. I had more fun playing this title than some $70 games I've played this year. Plus, unlike many of them, this one actually works. 
<laughs> For great visuals, sound, gameplay, and tons of replayability, I have to say that Stranded Alien Dawn absolutely felt worth it. This video was not sponsored, so if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more content. If you'd like to see more of my own playthroughs of Stranded, I'll include a link to those playlists from our other channel down below. As always, a massive thank you to our dear patrons who make content like this possible. If you'd like to become a supporter and earn early access, there's a link to that in the description. Good luck out there. That first winter is brutal.